Everyone is divided. Divided between two factions, both inside of themselves and outside with one another. On the one side, we have the positive team. Those people that tell us to only look on the bright side of life. Attitude equals altitude. That we should watch out for and not experience any form of distrust or cynicism or fear through these circumstances. It seems like the motivators of the world have found their platform. And I'm reminded that we live in a culture that sometimes shames us for our genuine, authentic human experience. That it's wrong or weak in some way to experience fear or insecurity or anxiety. That tears are unacceptable in the office and that a genuine, valid outburst of anger is bad or wrong. Perhaps this positivity is also appealing as a comforting lie is over a hard fact. On the other side we have the, 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 the negative team, the cynics and the pessimists, the vengeful and the hopeless, who have been spouting everything from the arrival of Armageddon to corporate espionage and technological terrors and the revengeful nature. It seems like the time of the fear mongerer and the panic spreader has arrived. What I'm inviting you to do today is to step outside of a positive view and a negative view and get some perspective. In life, there are things that are just plain cuck. That means they're unpleasant, they're bad. Life's got bad stuff. I didn't make it that way, I just discovered it that way. Life's got bad stuff. If you have a relationship, even the most beautiful, meaningful, nurturing, wonderful relationship, there are going to be times of difficulty and hardship and challenge inside of that relationship. It's the nature of the human experience and the nature of life. And to be running around, always putting a positive spin, a positive spin, a positive spin on every element of life, it's unrealistic and it's immature. In one sense, it robs us of our ability to engage with the reality as it is, whilst we're trying to put an emotional bandage on everything in order to feel better, in order to feel good and have good feelings about everything that goes on around us. The fact of the matter is, some things don't make us feel good. Some things don't have positive outcomes. Or we have to work really hard inside of things to generate positive outcomes for ourselves and the people that are meaningful inside our lives. So perhaps it's immature running around trying to put a positive spin and a positive spin and a positive spin on everything. But at the same time, I feel that it's even more immature, or the only thing that's more immature than trying to put a positive spin on everything, is trying to put a negative spin on everything. The cynics and the pessimists and the downtrodden and the vengeful who want to make everything bad and wrong in life. So instead of putting a positive spin or a negative spin, the way that we have to deal with reality is we have to engage with the way things are as they are. Not necessarily the way we want them, we want to feel about them. And for the most part, we want to feel good about them. Except for the vengeful and the hopeless who'd like to feel bad about them. We must watch out for visionless positivity. In the same way we must watch out for visionless negativity. Those people that are saying, fuck fear. I'm not sure that that's an appropriate, realistic response to a global pandemic and crisis. I more so feel that it's not the most mature approach and that we would be better off handling things as adults rather than emotional teenagers. So what I'm inviting you to do in these few minutes is whatever your perspective is and your point of view has been, take a moment to become aware of it. Which team you've predominantly been on. And for a second, a minute, five minutes or more, take a look at the other side. Because as long as we're focusing on one side, we're half blind. And if we can get a big picture, a broader perspective, it will empower us to handle the challenges ahead. Perhaps at the end of the lockdown, certain opportunities will present themselves in South Africa to us as a nation and us as individuals, as our humanity and how we engage with one another. I'm hopeful that we as a nation can take up that challenge and we as individuals can take up that challenge and make huge strides of improvement inside of our country. Yet I'm also aware it's going to take challenge, it's going to take work and there are going to be difficulties to rebuild things. 
to catch up our economy, to connect with one another, to not point fingers, but to take accountability so that we can grow and move forward. Take a few minutes, take some time, get a broader perspective, get a more realistic relationship with reality, empower yourself and the people around you. Friends, be real, take care. If you've enjoyed this video, if you found value, hit subscribe, put a thumbs up, get a reminder, and if you have any questions or comments, please put them on them and I'll get to them. I'll see you again. Take care.